All right, everybody's been wondering what's been happening with the Chevy Yak all year. Well, I haven't driven it all year. The last time it was driven was like probably the first week of April when I parked it up here. We did have some issues right now, even though it was fine then. Because it's got a hole cut in the hood, water was leaking, dripping on the starter motor. It got into the solenoid and it destroyed the solenoid. So when we turned the key, it just went click. The armature in the solenoid was still working because we bypassed that with a screwdriver and jump and the armature would run, but the solenoid wouldn't make a connection to connect the armature at the same time as it was engaging. So through a lot of bitching process, I uh, took the starter motor out, took about an old, took an old solenoid from an old 350 rocket starter motor I had laying around that's 40 years old and it fit. So now we're going to find out if it works. I've already pre-primed the float bowl in the car because we did a little bit of wear on the battery trying to get that thing to crank for a while and one time it actually just started spinning and uncontrollably cranking until we unhooked the battery cable. So this is an old start, cold start because it's August 24th or 25th, 2011 and it hasn't been started since the first week of April. But I want to field race it tomorrow because uh, it's going to be an epic weekend and we want to get all these cars working and I've been working on them all week. Pan around and show them. Almost all are working. Except the Lumina's got a crank problem, but I realized I had to drop the subframe to take the oil pan off to see if I can fix the crank like I did on the floppy cock. So that's another day, another job. Another beer. Another beer. Alrighty. Some pumpage, some choke. Let's see what's going to happen. Right, no choke. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, we might have killed too much of that battery. I think we did. But I'm pumping like a fiend anyway. <laughs> no, she's done. Take two. We have this other battery here we haven't really tried yet. Let's try the old Delco. Okay, take two. Different battery. Same piece of shit. <laughs> take, take three. It smells like we got a seized alternator. I smell belt burning smoke. It did smell that way. Ha ha ha. We do. It's uh -oh. too hot to touch. And look at that. No wonder it's cranking tight. Look at that belt. Yep. Let's get Damn a hammer. It. Let's get a hammer. I've got a hammer, man. Hammer it. I usually use the big channel locks. Mm -hmm. But we didn't bring those up here, did we? Damn it. I don't think so, but we're going to have a uh, socket the size of that nut. Not up here. No? Let me see if the vice grip will grab it. We're out in the middle of the back 40 in the middle of no... Nowhere, that's for sure. Mm. You can tell she's been sitting for a while, that's for sure. Let me hit and pump and turn at the same time. Well, we got to go back to the barn again and get a big socket. What is that? One inch or something like that? 11 sixteenths, maybe? 11 sixteenths is a 7 eighths. That's way smaller. Come on, idiot. Come ah. on. It's like, that's around one inch. Okay, one that's, inch. Barbie's, look it. Barbie's still around. With her JR cap? Yep. She's had a baby since then. Oh, shit. Damaged oh, goods. Well. Oh, well. Let's go back and get her. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we were, we, we were distracted, Dave. Can you say that again? <laughs> Chevy lives to die another day. Perfect. Yep. All right. Figures. Action. All righty. 
as you can see, just a sec, solution to the problem. <laughs> I rotated the alternator a few times. She sounds rusty and grindy, but she should go now. Maybe I can drive this bitch away under its own power. Let's hope so. That's what I was just about to check. Okay, hang on, start it again. No! No! <laughs> she seized again! Must be a lot of fucking rusted shit in there. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Turning? It's not easy enough, I guess. <clears throat> Hear the stator rubbing on the field magnet. Oh yeah. <clears throat> the belt's getting kind of loose because it's all burnt. I don't want to spend any money on this car and buy a new belt. It's only made me about eight thousand bucks off YouTube. And it was free. Ugh. I'll just give a little crank next time you tell me if it's turning or not. Yep. No, no. Oh, Fuck, she starts up too fast. <laughs> Damn it. Piece of shit. Well, the belt's already got any traction now that it's so screwed up. It's all hot and mushy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if I make it tighter. I was just going to say. Alrighty, 13 millimeters. <sighs> This will be what? Next try is try four? I don't know. All I know is I need another beer. <laughs> We're only in at a two beer job now. That starter motor deserved a case. <clears throat> hmm. Where can I hit it? It didn't bring back any big... Oh, maybe that this wrench will make a big pry bar. Yeah. Pry and whack. <clears throat> Oops. Oops. Getting there. That's a lot better. Let's try that. Well. Let's just see a quick crank. Nope! Ah. Alright, we loosened the belt because the alternator is so seized we got to put the impact air tool on it and free it up so hopefully I can drive back to the building if the gas isn't stolen out of it. We've had a lot of gas stolen out of cars this year, and I think I know who.